equity scheduling tutorial hi guys welcome back today i am going to show you around equity scheduling how to use equity scheduling and how you can create a booking website with equity so let's get started first what you have to do is you will simply come to equityscheduling.com and you will land on this platform right here equity is an amazing platform that allows you to create your own booking and scheduling website it works with squarespace and other uh, platforms as well it allows you to create your own scheduling website and run a successful business online so today i will show you how you can do that as a complete beginner the process is super easy and super fun so let's get started what you have to do is you will simply click on try it out now if you have not signed up for equity signing up for equity means signing up for squarespace.com so if you have already signed up for square.com then you don't have to sign up for equity again and you will simply click on this option right here which is log in how to sign up for squarespace well you can simply sign up with your google account or you can simply sign up with your email address and set up a reasonable password it literally takes a few seconds to sign up so once you have signed up you will simply click on login and you will log in to your equity scheduling once you sign into your equity and to your Squarespace, basically. So what happens is we have two options. So you can either go for a new complete trial where you will create your own website and then you will add a scheduling option into it. So I have opened up my website on Squarespace and I want to show you how we work with equity this is where i am right now this is the equity scheduling and i will be doing uh this right here on my website i will be um changing my website into a booking website with the help of equity so we have four steps that you have to do and it's super easy the first step is set up your availability so i have kind of like did that before but i'm going to show you again how we do that so what happens is the first step is set up your availability. What are the days you want to be available? So we have all of these different options. We have set hours of availability right here. And then we have client scheduling limit. So I have a regular hours every week. Set hours availability. I have regular hours every week because I don't want to set it again and again every day. If there will be any changes, I will simply announce it on my website or through my emails. So I don't want to kind of like go ahead and, you know, do it every day. I have regular hours every week. So what you have to do is you will enter your days. For example, Sundays, right? I'm not available on Sunday. I'm going to start from Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. These are the four days I'm going to be available for appointments and for scheduling so what you have to do is you will simply add your uh, hours right here so what you have to do is you will simply add them right here let me do that as well so now i have added this time right here which is from 12 p.m to 5 p.m this is going to be my scheduling time and i will be open so now what i have to do is i will simply add the same timing to every day or maybe on thursday i can go uh, from 2 p.m to 7 p.m if i want this is totally up to you this is a good thing about equity that we kind of like get this whole customizable and it's up to us how we want to make our website look good and how it's good for us and it is you know easy for you to work with so now what you have to do is you will simply add uh, timing to every day that is how we can do with set hours of availability and then we have client scheduling limits you can either go for a limit then you don't have to set a timing you just simply go for for example you have a new service you have a therapy session you can just go ahead and add these for example 12 hours in advance and more than 365 days in the future so this is a limit but you can book my appointment 12 hours in advance and then it's going to be for 365 days in the future so not 365 i don't want that appointment to be uh you know going for like a whole year so you can just go for seven days in the future that's how it is going to be and then um do not allow clients to cancel so i can allow them to cancel 24 hours 
before in advance they have to cancel it so these are the different limits we can go for appointments per time slot so you can actually add only one appointment um that is right that is actually a good option but if you want to go for like more than one appointment then you can go ahead and add them maximum appointments accept appointments until fully booked or accept a max number of appointments so i'm gonna go for accept until i'm fully booked that's what i want um because i want to sell more of course so what you have to do is you will simply click on save limits and it will be saved right here so it will be saved now i'm gonna move to the next tab which is create appointment type so we have different types of appointments of course we have add-ons and coupons as well if you want to add a new service adding a new service is really easy simply click on new service right here and then you will be able to add a new service it depends on your services for example i am in digital marketing so i'm gonna go for a new service which is going to be um maybe our marketing strategy therapy or something like that so we can actually go for affiliate plans that's what i am going for then you have to add the duration it can be 60 minutes and uh, then i'm gonna go for the price the price is going to be 33 dollars there you go now if i want to add any images i want to choose a file i can just go ahead and do that as well after that the access it can be a access to a public where anyone who will open my website can actually um you know book an appointment or i can just simply go for a private one where we just share links to our customers and clients and they can just simply book it uh, through my website so i'm gonna go for a public for this one because anybody can actually get an affiliate plan but i think i'm gonna go for private because what happens is if i think about my business and we do not kind of like go for a public view and it becomes really hectic as well so i'm gonna go for private but you can go for public of course when you will be you know uh, creating a new service then you should go for public so you get more audience then we have add scheduling to your website that allows you to add it to your website the scheduling of course uh, you will simply connect your scheduling to your website wherever your website is another thing that i want to show you is how to uh, sign with your calendars so signing with your calendar is really easy you can simply go for any calendar you can go for google calendar iCloud, outlook outlook exchange outlook.com and one way subscription so you can go for any of these i have connected my my google calendar and you can see it's active right now how to do that you simply click on any of the calendar let's just say i clicked on this one and after that you just simply have to uh, log into your google account and it will ask your permission to connect your google calendar and it will be added to your website the calendar view is really easy it allows you to set your appointments better and you can actually set reminders you can simply go ahead and you get a better view with a calendar view and you are ready to manage your business better and set up your booking website so once you have added all the information you can simply go ahead and publish your website and that website will be a booking website so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to set up your equity how to use equity as a beginner and how to create an amazing booking website if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel